And here's heat two. Couple 126, Charles Guillaume Schmidt and Elena Salikova from France. Now, as I said earlier, the dancers are not aware of the choice of music which will be played during the competition. They have the basic fundamentals of technique and the, the character of the dance. But it's their job to move through the choreography and convince us that what we are hearing and what we see are created to be put together. As we watch the Croatian couple 108, you can see how they move through the music and use the music to create the shapes of the body and torso. Now, if you listen to the music, ladies and gentlemen, you will notice that's the first highlight. The French couple, 126. You can see the shape of his torso, the way he uses his legs and feet. Rather rough connection there from the man to the lady. And here we see the current reigning world champions, Alexei Silda and Anna Fushtova from Russia, couple 170. The French couple, 126, looking rather stressed in the movements now and a little bit off in the music. And he's late into the final position. And now it's the last dance in the semi-final. It's heat one in the jive. Couple 170 from Russia, Alexei Silda and Anna Fushtova. Now you can see the way that the lady uses the connection she has with the man to help her maintain balance, increase her body speed and achieve her dance position. Same thing here with the Danish couple. You can see the way that they communicate with each other through touch, total awareness of where the partner is at all times and how to use each other to create the step. Couple 103 from Austria, Zufa Zaripov and Anna Ludwig. Dancing kicking actions which are characteristic of the jive. Couple 130, the second Danish couple in this evening's semi-final, Zulzin in Ibarga. Now you can see that they have a very clear swing action in their bodies, which is characteristic of the jive. Oops, what's happened here? Anna Fostova got off a choreography and is trying to wait for a partner to pick it up again. 128, the Canadian couple, looking rather slow and lethargic, almost as though they've got no energy left. And that's one of the problems for the couples in this fifth and final dance is maintaining the energy level so that the adjudicators see that you have the quality to make the final. The Danish couple, full of energy, high kicking actions, good movement through the legs and feet. And that's the end of Heat 1 in Jive. Couple 133, Andrei Zaitsev and Kuzmin Kaya from Russia. Now you see here, they're very energetic. The energy's still there, the technique's still there, the movement's still there. This couple have the quality to make this evening's final. Strong use of ankle tension. Couple 108 from Croatia. In the jive, the emphasis should be on counts two and four. So as you look at the couples now, you should see their whole body should be representing that. One hundred and eight from Croatia. You can see the way they connect with each other. Quite short distances between the connections, allowing them to create more body speed. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're coming to the end of the IDSF. World Latin American Dance Championships semi-final. And we're going to talk now to Martino Zanibalato and Michelle Abildrup from Denmark. Hi, 
I started to dance with my cousin, which is a girl as well. And after that, I found a little boy, and since then, it just got more and more. First, it was one time a week, 45 minutes, and yeah, then it just continues, and now it's like every day, a lot of hours. I started because my parents was dancing socially, and my mom is a very um, dominant lady, and she really wanted me to uh, try dancing. Our teacher spoke in the phone, and uh, his teacher goes, I have a little boy here, and my teacher goes, I have a little girl here. And uh, so, yeah, so basically that's how it started. What was funny is that uh, I couldn't speak English, and I couldn't read any English. So uh, the first emails I got from Michelle was basically translated from a guy that translated to another guy, and it was kind of a a mess and I, a few years later I went back to see some of these emails and it, it was quite funny. I don't, I, I think I would have killed myself laughing actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, you were good, you kind of uh, hooked me up. I got it. <laughs> Michelle and Martino have been dancing together for nine years. Their dancing style has been developing throughout that time and they've now reached what many couples are still only dreaming of, a dance style with unique personality. I think Michelle's best side is that um, she kind of, everything she does, she looks quite good in it. Wherever I put her in a position or, or wherever I know that she's going to look good. And this is, uh, this is a very good plus for me. She's sort of the, the good uh, picture and I try to frame it a little bit. I think Martino's best side <laughs> <laughs> is um, that he never gives up, that they, he continue in the search of making everything better. And he's the one always pushing for, for more. That I think is his best side. Michelle is very proud person, so she kind of uh, she would never say she did a mistake. <laughs> she will hide it until the end of the world, and then maybe by then say yes, maybe I did a mistake. Then, so that is not a good side when you want to improve something to kind of take it out from her. And say, oh yes, yes, that was not so good. Right? Maybe. <laughs> there you are. Every dancer has the dream of becoming a champion, but the road to great success is often long. Nevertheless, a good dancer never gives up. Everyone's dream is to win the world championship. And uh, in a way, I feel we're living the dream that we want. We are in sort of the top six couples and uh, We've had experience in the past where we didn't win, but we had very good response from the public. We have been practicing a lot and we want to, that's our main goal actually, to be able to put on the floor what we have practiced. And if not, we would be very happy with the way we're dancing, hopefully. Uh, that's the main goal. And uh, if we're not able to put it on the floor, then we have to go home and practice harder. And ladies and gentlemen, here we can see the six couples that have qualified for the World Dance Championships final. We have a couple from Croatia, two couples from Russia, one from Denmark, one from Italy, and one from the United States. The first couple to dance their solo performance in rumba is couple 163 from Denmark, Martino Zanibelato and Michelle Abildra.
And that concludes the solo performance by the Danish couple.